Behind closed doors, the Legal Affairs Committee has to deal with a sensitive and explosive case, the immunity of an MEP. In 2010, the European Parliament followed the recommendation of the Legal Affairs Committee. They lifted the immunity of Victor Uspaski. This disastrous decision was taken because key elements were not yet known. The plenary did only knew half of the story. He is now able to present the complete case to his colleagues. It is a story about a conspiracy against him and his party. After receiving new information, new arguments allow us to look deeper into the case. And this is not only me, my case. This is not only something private. This is important for the people who voted for me as well for the whole of the society, because I represent them. I am the head of a political party. Those who voted for us, the whole society, expects a response of the European Parliament to look deeper into the case. The accusations are coming from Lithuania. The responsible prosecutor believes to have strong arguments. We have collected quite a lot of different evidence. First of all, testimonies made by witnesses who confirmed that the party had received illegal funding and also documents which show that this illegal funding did take place. Many general allegations, but where are the concrete details that Viktor Spassky took how much money from where, handed it over to whom? To understand better who is Viktor Spassky, we go to Kedanje. It is his hometown, it's a small city in the center of Lithuania. No doubt that the recent polls are right. The former Minister of Economy is still one of the most popular politicians. I think the accusations against him are purely political. This is part of a political game and will end nowhere. Viktor Uspaski acted in the past for the benefits of the city and he will continue. Threats to condemn him or even put him into prison? I cannot believe it. The state security department is a centerpiece of the conspiracy. It is said that they got the order from a secret group of powerful men without any official control or legal basis. People in Vilnius believe this secret department is still acting like the KGB in the old times. For MPs in the Lithuanian parliament, this situation is not acceptable. This absence of control was used by a small group of people. I speak of them as statesmen. The media call them as well statesmen. Members of this group started to control the state security department. Among them journalists, high-ranking civil servants, members of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, as well as from the state security department and others. The Vilnius court is dealing already for more than three years with the case of Viktor Spassky and the Labour Party. I have reason to say that the court is not independent. In the Bill of Indictment it is written that he is a businessman, but here he is accused as a politician. For a court, it is very difficult to condemn someone who is a leader, a president of a political party. In other words, is the court biased? This is the understanding of most of the Lithuanians. There has to be someone in Lithuania who knows more. The trace is leading to Gidiminas Kirkilas. He had accepted to give us an interview. When we arrive, we cannot find him. Unfortunately, he changed his mind, no interview. We could have raised the question, is he really a member of the so-called statesman? According to confidential cables made public by Wikileaks, he revealed the background of the conspiracy. 
how was engineered the departure of Victor Spaskich from Lithuania, how Victor Spaskich became a victim, how a coup was organized within the party of Victor Spaskich. And behind all this information, Gediminas Kirkilas. European Parliament in Strasbourg, Viktor Spaskich just arrived from Vilnius. Now everything seems to have changed. He will be able to present the whole story. Now the case attracts even international media. The case of Mr. Spaskich shall be discussed in the Uri Committee again, based on the new documents in Wikileaks, who, in my opinion, uh, uh, shows, uh, illustrates that uh, there were some political maneuvers behind all this. A lot of MEPs have now a clear opinion on Viktor Uspaski. Someone who speaks like him. You can agree with him or not, but he is a sort of person who says the truth. The Legal Affairs Committee took recently the first step. The case is reopened. Viktor Uspaski will have a second chance and this time he will be able to present the whole story, including the conspiracy. Thank you.